I think I started at about 14 years old working at what is now Trump Marina, what was then Trump's castle, um, in the marina section there. I was docking boats, I was tying up you know, boats, electrical systems, washing boats and decks and these kind of things. Um, it was probably the lowest rung of the ladder within the organization, but it was a great thing to do for summer. It, it was away from home, it was a real job, and it was a good time. Well, you know, I was the first of the siblings to come work in the company. Um, then Ivanka joined a couple years later, and Eric a couple years after that. And, you know, we all work very closely together, so I think there was a good, you know, element of mentorship initially when they came in, but, you know, they're both very intelligent people and very quick studies. And, you know, once we all got to a point where we understood, hey, we're all capable, we're all at a level where, you know, we can take something and take the lead on an individual project, we said it's much better use of our time, you know, to have one chief, not three focusing on things and so we've kind of split up the duties really as they fall or as something new comes in. I think the toughest project I ever worked on was probably Trump Park Avenue and it's probably also the one I'm most proud of. I think it was the first job where I really started to be able to get some autonomy to kind of break away. It was a you know, 1927 building that was a full retrofit so behind every wall there was a new surprise and I came into the project really helping out with construction and you know because it was so interesting because it was so difficult I kind of took responsibility as people said, oh, I don't want to deal with that issue, so I took it, I took it. And then the next thing I knew, I kind of looked around and realized that I was actually kind of heading up everything, and you know, it became kind of my baby. I actually can't describe what my typical day is like at the Trump Organization. I mean, it's so varied. I mean, the other day, it was a holiday weekend, so in theory, we had Monday off. I had the opportunity to go work on a deal um, on that Monday in Colombia with the president of Colombia. So I woke up at 3 a.m., I got on a flight to Bogota, uh, landed at about nine, had meetings all day, met with the president, did some, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Got back on a red-eye flight back to New York so I could be back in the office um, on Tuesday morning. So, you know, those are what days are like. It's very organic. Things happen when you have the opportunity to do something, you have to jump on it.